In this HVACR training video, I wanted to show HVAC students that we do have higher than 120 volts at the outlet. We just are measuring our voltage with a root mean square multimeter. So that's why we're only measuring 120 volts. And so over here, we're measuring zero volts right now. We're gonna turn the power on over here. And you can see with our sine wave, which means we're measuring alternating current, we measure 123. Now, what I'm gonna to do to, to show you this is I'm gonna be measuring direct current and I'm going to be turning this off and then we're gonna measure the direct current stored on this capacitor as the capacitor discharges. So what we're doing is we're trying to catch this in its sine wave at a higher voltage than 120. So let's just go ahead and check it out. So we're turning our power off to the capacitor and we were at 147 volts and now the capacitor is discharging because we are connected to the multimeter. Now let's go ahead and turn it on again. Turn it off. And so that time you see that we were at the 98 volt spot on the sine wave and now we're discharging. We're going to power and really all the capacitor is doing is it's storing voltage on the plates. And when we're measuring with direct current, we're measuring the difference in the voltage from this plate compared to the plates over here. And these are separated by a film. And so this capacitor is discharging. Let's just go ahead and do this a bunch of times. So that time we only caught it at the 22 volt mark. Eighty nine volts, hundred and fifty two. So that shows you right there we were at a higher spot on the sine wave. Seventy six, So that was 152. It doesn't seem like we're able to catch right up in say 160, 170 volts, but you got to remember that a capacitor is a storage device and we're measuring it with direct current and we're just measuring each point on the sine wave that's occurring say 60 times per second. And so that's why sometimes we're getting a negative voltage, sometimes we're getting a positive voltage, sometimes we're getting a, a low voltage, sometimes we're getting a high voltage. So we're just turning the power off at that particular moment in time where the voltage tends to be at that point in the sine wave. So it's as simple as that, and I just I hope this helped. And if you want to learn more about electrical power, make sure to check out our new inverter mini split operation and service procedures book. We have a whole chapter on understanding electricity. And if you want to learn more, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where there's a bunch of articles, quick tips, calculators, and quizzes. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.